Hey, what's up? It's Brianna, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Anastasia Casanova palette because listen, like this palette is slowly becoming a new favorite for me. Like I have used this palette too, like 30 times, so this is definitely not a first impressions by no means. But like there is something about this palette that makes it so I cannot stop using it. And this is like one of those palettes too I would have never thought I would gravitate towards because like the colors in here are very warm. And you know me, I'm like a cool tone girly. Like I like those taupey grayish kind of colors. And this one, she's definitely not like that. And like when you look at the shimmers too, like they don't look insanely sparkly. But just, uh, like, when this is applied on the eye, it is, like, next level. But before we jump into it, though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok, it's at Brianna Faye as well. Now, first, we got to prime these puppies up, and I'm just using the Anastasia Eye Primer. Now, we're first going to go in with this Space Dust shade. But you see what I mean? Like, it is so pigmented. <laughs> To me, the formula of this palette with the mattes is very similar to like the mattes in Sultry and Soft Glam. Those are two of my favorite palettes from Anastasia. Like where they're really pigmented, but they're also very easy to work with and blend out. Like, you know, like that buttery kind of texture? The mattes in here have that. You know, I want to do something a little bit different today. So I'm going to go in with this Eclipse shade. It's kind of like a smoky purple, but it also has like a little bit of like a brown look to it. It's really pretty. And again, I'm just going to be applying this to the crease. Like really like getting it all up in there. And then blending it out. You know that like cool tone purple that you see around fall time? That is the color of this. Like it's purple, but it also is a little bit brown. It's a little bit on the cool tone side. It's not very like reddish. It's just, it's absolutely lovely. I want this shade in a lipstick so bad because you can't tell me that this would not be like the prettiest color for like fall and winter. I don't know about you, but lately I have been really into like smoky colored lipstick because I've been like doing like these like custom like mixing and I keep on getting like these like really like fall colors and this is exactly the vibe I want. You know what, I'm also going to pack a little bit on like the outer half of my eye. So when we go in with the shimmers, we kind of have something to blend into. Ooh, it is getting hot in here. Like, it's 100 degrees outside, and then, you know, like, with the carpet in here and, like, the bright lights, it's, it's getting a little toasty. But this palette, though, is definitely one of those palettes. I would say, like, it is really, really deep with the colors. If you are like me and you have very fair skin or even just, like, light to fair skin, the colors in here are going to be extremely deep on you. At least the mattes will be. The shimmers aren't as deep. So if you're somebody that doesn't really like a smoky eye, you probably won't like this palette. You know what, I was gonna really like smoke this baby out today, but honestly, I really like where it's at, so we're just gonna cut the crease. Then afterwards, I take some more on a concealer brush, and then just fill in everything underneath that line. I find that it's just a lot quicker, and honestly, I just feel like it's a little bit more precise. It's shimmer time, like the shimmers in here are insane. Now the first one I'm going to go in with is Supernova. You can bet we're gonna use a couple of them. But I'm just going to be pressing this kind of like in the center of the eye. But I mean, oh, my camera is not doing this justice because like in person, it's like a purple, a pink, and like a almost like lavender shift. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to pop a little bit more on top and then feather it into the outer V. I don't know why my camera cut out, so I'm going to take Super Cluster, and we're going to pop it in the inner half of the lid, but oh, do you see what I'm talking about, though? Like, seriously, like, these shimmers are insane. Now, if you've tried other Anastasia palettes, you know, again, like Soft Glam or Sultry, or even Modern Renaissance, you know, like, that creamy texture the shimmers have? Like, they almost have, like, that buttery kind of feel. These shimmers in this palette have that same texture, but they just have more dimension. They're like the duochrome version, because again, they shift different colors, you know, depending on how you tilt your head. So if you like the original Anastasia shimmer formula, you're going to really like the ones in here. As a side note, this palette is definitely an eyes first kind of palette. Like, you don't want to do your face first, because all the shades in here do have fallout, whether that is a matte or a shimmer. Like, they just have like a little bit enough where I would just 
just do your eyes first. Because again, a lot of the colors in here are fairly deep and the shimmers have a lot of sparkle to them. It's just, it's a lot easier to clean up. I just did the base off camera, but let's do the lip. And I'm first going to use this lip liner again from Anastasia. This is in the shade Mocha. I'm trying to find something that would kind of like match the crease color. Ooh, that is nice. I feel like Anastasia lip liners though are just so slept on. Cause like they're creamy, but they're not like too creamy. And they're also not dry. Like you can get a good lip line with them, but you're not gonna like break the pencil and you're not gonna burn through it really fast. I also like that these are a wooden pencil. Like you really don't see that all that much anymore. Like most pencils are plastic or they're retractable. And don't get me wrong, I like a retractable lip liner, but I feel like I just, I can't get it as sharp as I want to and I just burn through them way too fast. Whereas like this one, I don't at all. Like I've already used this pencil a couple of times and like you wouldn't even know I did. These pencils are also really unique in the sense that they have a square shape to them. They're not circular like most lip liners are, so it's really easy to hold on to. Because I don't know if I've really talked about this much, but I had chronic eczema to the point, like now I have like nerve pain and like swelling in my hands. So it's really hard for me to use certain products because of it. But these pencils I have no issues with because they're just so easy to use. Now for the gloss, we're gonna go in with Guava. Now this one's my favorite shade of all the ones I've tried. And it's definitely not like a Guava color, like a traditional one. It's more of like a nudie, pinky kind of shade. But this, it's like a gel gloss, but it's not sticky, it's not thick, it's not goopy. And it also has a lot of pigment to it. Keep in mind too, I don't like the feeling of gloss. Like I normally can't stand it just because it feels like I always have like something on my face. Whereas like this, I don't have that problem. Like it just feels nice and hydrating. It's not like, you know, like a lip mask. It's not like super oily. It's just, it's very comfortable. For the inner corner, we're gonna go in with Quasar, which I mean, I got roasted the first time I said this because I said Quasar. I don't know why I said it the way I did, but I did. But I'm just gonna pop this in the inner corner and I mean, <sighs> It's like this beautiful like green gold shimmer. It leans a little bit more on the green side, but if you wear it by itself, it has like a little bit of like a orangey undertone. It is super pretty. It's like the shimmer version of Space Dust, like as a base color with really bright green shimmer, if you wear it by itself. Now, if you wear it with the other shimmers in here, like the one I have next to it, or even just like Orion and stuff like that, it will pull a lot more green. Now, even though it has like that warm base to it, you can see it's an inner corner highlight. It doesn't have like a little cast to it. This is why I have such a hard time putting this palette down. Like it is just so nice. And I also feel like this palette is one of those ones that's gonna transition really well from summer into fall, especially, you know, since it has like those warm tone smoky browns and also like the cool tone purples that are like in the fall color kind of range. Like, I don't know, like I just, I can't get enough of it. Let me know if you pick this one up and also if you want to see more looks with it, let me know because again, like if I have an excuse to do more looks with it, I'm going to take it. But before you go though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok, it's at Brianna Faye as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!